So let's start with our analysis, creating our visuals. So we can click here and go to our sheet. As you can see, the sheet is empty. And we can click here, edit sheet. And in the left side, you can see that we have our fields listed all them here. The master items options, uh, the charts, so all the options that we have, and the custom objects, okay? So as I mentioned before, click is very complete, so we have many features in here. Let's uh, go straight ahead to make it short so you can save time and start to understand how it works, uh, how the visual works. So uh, let's go right ahead with the visuals, okay? So let's bring here a bar chart for this example. So as you can see, I have just dragged in, uh, the, the chart option to the sheet, okay? And let's also add it here the pie chart. We can use many other options, as you can see. But for now, let's... So, thinking about our data set, what can we, we, we try to take it from here? So, we have neighborhood and neighborhood group. So, let's start by analyzing the average price by neighborhood group, okay? So, what can we do in here with this chart? Let's add, as a dimension, the neighborhood. I have just typed it in here, Nate, and it shows me the options. Okay, so click in here. As you can see in my, uh, just a second, in the left side, as I have the, the chart selected, I have the options to add it here. So uh, as you saw, I added neighborhood, and I have the options here to rename the field. So if I want to just insert here as N, I can just label it as N, okay? But we'll, we're still using that column. Let's call it neighborhood. And now, what's the measure that we want to use? We want to use the average of price, right? So we have the price column. We can click here or in here, okay? It's the same, basically. So let's add here, searching for the price. Click in here, we have the options to sum price, count, average, min, and max, okay? So, th so these are the main basic expressions. Let's use this automated one, so average price. And there we go, we have our first chart showing the average price by neighborhood, okay? Um, as you can see here, we have the label as AVG price. Let's change it to price. And that's all, okay? So it just changed it here. Let's also change the formatting of this number. Make it a number, a uh, money. And in here we have the options to change the sorting. So let's say that I want to do it alphabetically. I can uh, move this up. And here we have the options inside this, this option. We can, like, it's uh, sorting automatically, but we can change it using an expression, numerically, alphabetically. So right now we have it uh, automatically, uh, alphabetically. But going back, let's make it by price. So we have it back. Uh, we don't need to use the add, uh, the add zone right now. Let's just go for the appearance in here so we can add a title. So average price by neighborhood. So as you, as you just saw, I, I clicked here to expand the options. So in the general option, we have title. We can also add here a subtitle, which would be right here, or a footnote, which would be right here as well, okay? And uh, if I have, like, let's say that I want to just present my, my chart, I can click here in Done Editing, and now I can present, I can scroll here, this bar, and see all the options that we have, and I can expand 
this chart to full screen mode. Okay? If I press ask or just click here, I go back to where, where, where I was.